hello guys my name is Nora Saha and today in this tutorial we are going to make a email slicer project where we ask user for their email address then we separate username and domain name from that email address at last we display username and domain name now the first thing you have to do is to create a file called email slicer.py and then we can start writing our coding now write a separate comment for each task first is take email address from user then slice and store username after that slice and store domain name then make output result using username and domain name at last print the result now create a variable called email in email variable we want to store users email so write input enter your email address we know that the email address do not have a space so if there is any space we want to remove that so also add dot st strip we know that the email address looks like robin red where in this email address everything before at the rate is username and everything after at the rate is domain name so in username we want this robin so write username then to split a robin we can write if you watch the previous tutorial then you know that to slice up the robin you need the index id of at the rate so here i grab the index id of at the rate now jump into the domain name first create a domain variable and in domain we need everything after the at the rate so write as you know this code slice this string from the at the rate but in domain we do not need this at the rate so to not to include at the rate we increase the index number by one for that here we have to add one after we get username and domain name let's make output result your username equals to blank then new line and your domain equals to blank then format this format in a first blank we fill up it with username then in a second blank we fill up it with domain at last all we need to do is print the result save this and run sorry here i 
forget to add quote we also need to remove this now save this and run enter your email address and here it is username robin and domain name spacex.net and this is the end of this tutorial thanks for watching and i will see you on the next tutorial